Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng mga problems on right triangle trigonometry at sa pagsagot ng mga problems sa right triangle trigonometry, kailangan nyo ng calculator at minsan, kailangan nyo rin ng unit circle or yung values ng unit circle. So, kailangan memorize nyo yung mga values ng unit circle or kung meron kayong unit circle na magagamit, pwede nyo siyang gamitin para nag-aaral lang kayo ng multiplication Um, ng pag-multiply ng numbers wherein meron kayong multiplication table sa trigonometry para malaman nyo naman or makapagsagot kayo ng mga problems sa trig kailangan meron kayong unit circle para makuha nyo yung ibang mga um, angle measures or special angle measure using uh, um, the unit circle so umpisahan natin sa problem number one at sa problem number one we need to find the six trig functions or six trig ratio ng theta given na yung theta is 7 pi over 3 so sa pagsagot ng mga problems sa trigonometry mahalaga or mas maganda kung imbes na yung nakikita natin problem ay in radian measure which is 7 pi over 3 i-convert natin siya sa, sa degree measure para mas ma-visualize natin kung ano yung 7 pi over 3 at ang 7 pi over 3 is 7 times 180 all over 3 at pagka ginamita natin ang calculator we have 7 times 180 divided by 3 is 420. So, ang 7 pi over 3 ay 420 degrees. Now, sa ating unit circle, ang unit circle natin, ang one full rotation ay 360 degrees lang. So, since 420 degrees is over 360, magbawas tayo ng 360 para makuha natin yung coterminal angle na tinatawag para magamit natin yung ating unit circle. So, 420 minus 360 is giving us 60, which means yung 7 pi over 3 natin ay equivalent din sa 60 degrees. At dun sa ating sa unit circle, ang 60 degrees ay merong mga sine and cosine values na kung saan pwede natin siyang gamitin para sa ating mga 6 trig ratio. So kung hahanapin natin ngayon, yung sine 60 degrees, cosine 60 degrees, and tangent 60 degrees, using our unit circle, makikita nyo yung ating first ordered pair ay yung cosine at yung second ordered pair ay yung ating sine. So, ang ating sine 60 degrees ay going to be square root of 3 all over 2. Ang ating cosine 60 ay 1 half. At ang ating tangent 60 ay square root of 3. Now, ang inverses ng ating mga trig function would be S is to C and C is to S. So, kung sine ang kanyang inverse ay cosecant cosecant 60 degrees at to find the inverse of cosecant 60 degrees kunin nyo yung reciprocal which is 2 all over square root of 3 and since bawal or minsan kailangan natin irrationalize ang ating fraction kailangan natin i-multiply yung numerator at denominator ng square root of 3 para yung ating denominator ay mawalan ng square root symbol at ito ay magiging 2 squared of 3 all over 3. So ito yung tinatawag na rationalizing your denominator para mawala yung inyong radical sign or yung square root ng ating denominator. Now for our inverse ng cosine, ito naman ay S or C is to S, so secant theta or specifically at 60 degrees at Reciprocal ng 1 half ay 2 over 1, so it's simply 2. So ito yung ating mga inverses ng ating sine and cosine function. At sa tangent, mas madaling matanda ng inverse ng tangent kasi cotangent ang inverse ng ating uh, tangent, uh, tangent theta. So yung ating tangent is square root of 3 all over 1. Its reciprocal is 1 over square root of 3. Kailangan nating irrationalize. So, ang ating cotangent is square root of 3 all over 3. So, ito yung pagkuha ng uh, 6 trig ratio given yung angle natin na 7 pi over 3 ay radian measure at nung kinonvert natin siya over 360 degrees siya. So, nagbawas tayo ng 360 degrees at nakita natin na equivalent angle niya ay 60 degrees na pwede natin gamitan ng unit circle para makuha yung 6 trig ratio. So, yan yung problem number 1. At yung problem number 2 naman, kailangan natin kunin yung 6 trig function given that cotangent theta is equal to 6 over 8. Now, mapapansin nyo yung 6 over 8 natin ay hindi siya angle measure or hindi siya special 
right triangle. So, ang gagawin na lang natin dito is mag uh, um, sketch ng ating uh, right triangle at kunin yung six trig ratio using so ka at toa. So, ang ating value ng ating cotangent or ng ating uh, trig ratio cotangent theta is equal to 6 over 8. So, kailangan natin mahanap yung other 5 trig ratio and to do that, alam natin na ang inverse ng cotangent ay tangent at ang inverse niya ay reciprocal. So, kung 6 over 8 ang cotangent, ang tangent yun naman ay 8 over 6 which is sa so katoa so ka Toa, ang tangent theta ay ating opposite over adjacent. Now, mahalaga na makuha niyo yung so katoa kasi kapag nag-draw tayo or nag-sketch tayo ng right triangle, given yung ating reference angle ay nandito, yung opposite side ng ating right triangle, given ang ating cotangent theta is 6 over 8, ang opposite niya is 8. So, ito daw yung measurement ng opposite side ng right triangle at yung ating adjacent side ay 6. So, since hindi complete yung ating measurement ng right triangle, kailangan natin hanapin yung hypotenuse. And to do that, gagamitan lang natin siya ng Pythagorean theorem, which is hypotenuse squared equals legs squared plus legs squared. At yung hypotenuse natin is missing, so let's use x squared as a variable. And to complete our equation, yung leg natin, one of them is 8, so we can use 8 squared plus 6 squared, which will give us 64 plus 36, which is equal to 100. So since kailangan natin kunin yung square root on both sides, at x is equal to 10, which means yung ating hypotenuse ay equal to 10. So since complete na yung ating right triangle or yung measurement ng sides ng ating right triangle, kahit wala yung unit circle, makukumpleto natin yung ating so ka toa or sine cosine tangent at yung kanyang mga inverses. So ang ating sine theta, we know is O over H. Ang opposite side ay 8. At ang hypotenuse ay 10. At ang cosine theta ay a over h, a over h, at ang adjacent side natin, opposite, and hypotenuse. Ang adjacent side natin ay 6, at ang hypotenuse natin ay 10. At yung ating tangent, hindi na natin siya kailangan hanapin because nakuha na natin siya a while ago. At ang tangent theta natin ay 8 over 6. Now, yung kanyang mga inverses, s is to c, so cosecant theta, and cosine is secant theta. At ang reciprocal ng bawat function na to, yung inverse niya, is 10 over 8. At ito naman ay magiging 10 all over 6. At yung ating cotangent kanina, cotangent theta is equal to 6 all over 8. Now, min minsan, kailangan daw natin i-simplify yung mga fractions. So, if you need to simplify your fraction in its simplest form, 8 and 10 can be divided by 2. So, meron tayong 4 over 5. And ito naman ay 5 over 4. 6 over 10 can be simplified with 2. So, this is 3 over 5. And this will be 5 over 3. At yung 8 over 6 natin can be simplified by dividing by 2. So we have 4 all over 3 and 3 all over 4. So yan yung ating 6 trig functions. Gamit lang yung right triangle. At yung ating given angle ay cotangent theta equals 6 all over 8. Now yung susunod nating problem is to find theta. So ngayon naman, kailangan nating hanapin is yung angle given yung sine theta is equal to 8 over 10. So katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, magdo-draw tayo ng right triangle. So kung meron tayong sine theta equals 8 all over 10 sa ating right triangle, kung ito yung reference angle natin, ito ang ating opposite side, ito yung adjacent side, at ito yung ating hypotenuse. At dito sa ating triangle, ang um, ating formula ay so ka toa at yung sine theta ay opposite at yung hypotenuse ay yung 10.
So, ito lang yung visual ng ating right triangle. At since kailangan nating makuha yung angle measure, hindi na natin kailangan kunin yung mga sides ng right triangle. Ang gagawin na lang natin is kakailangan natin ng algebra at ng calculator para makuha natin yung angle measure ng ating right triangle. So, sa sine theta equals 8 all over 10. Since yung theta ang ating hinahanap, kailangan natin tanggalin si sine right next to theta. So using algebra, to get rid of sine, we will multiply both sides by 1 over sine. And by doing so, makakancel natin si sine at ang magtitira na lang is theta. At yung ating new function would be 8 all over 10. At sa algebra, ang 1 over sine ay pwede na natin i-write as sine inverse. So ngayon, Makikita natin yung ating equation ay equal to sine inverse of 8 all over 10. So since yung ating theta ay kailangan daw ay angle measure, gagamitan natin siya ng calculator para makuha natin yung actual value ng angle na hinahanap natin. Now sa ating calculator, kahit anong calculator, regular calculator or graphing calculator, yung ating sine sa taas nun yung ating sine inverse. So, yun yung gagamitin nating function sa ating calculator. At kailangan din yung inyong calculator ay nasa degree mode para makuha nyo yung value nung inyong angle measure. So, using our calculator sa so arc sine or sine inverse is equal to 8 over 10. So, sa mga scientific calculator naman, pwede nyo gawin is i-divide nyo yung 8 over 10 and then arc sign afterwards. So, ang value natin ay 53.13. So, yung ating theta is equal to 53.13 degrees. So, yan yung measurement ng ating angle or right triangle given sine theta is 8 over 10. Now, sa mga scientific calculator, pwede nyo gawin is i-divide nyo si 8 at saka si 10. At yung value na yan, yung point 0.8, kunin nyo yung arc sine and then yung point 0.8. At parehas din yung magiging sagot ninyo. So try to uh, make sure that you know how to use your calculator para makuha nyo yung function or yung angle na kailangan nyo. At yan yung ating third problem. At dun sa pang-apat na problem, kailangan natin kunin yung theta ngayon naman yung right triangle lang yung given sa atin. At dito sa right triangle na ito, ang pwede natin gawin is sketch yung ating right triangle. Ito yung reference angle. At sabi dito, ang measurement ng side na to ay 8 at ito naman ay 5. Now, given the right triangle, we know that it, this is our hypotenuse and this is our adjacent side. So, sa so, ka, towa, Dito sa tatlong formula na to, yung cosine ang gagamitin natin kasi yung cosine yung may adjacent side at may hypotenuse side. So writing out our equation, we'll have sine theta, I mean sorry, cosine yung kailangan natin. So kailangan natin is cosine theta equals a all over h. At yung ating a all over h, adjacent side is 5 at yung hypotenuse is equal to 8. So we have cosine theta equals 5 all over 8. At tulad nung ginawa natin doon sa problem number 3, tatanggalin natin si cosine by dividing both sides or multiplying both sides by 1 over cosine. So matatanggal ngayon si cosine at yung ating theta ay magiging 5 all over 8 multiplied by cosine to the negative 1. So, gamit ang calculator natin, so, pwede na natin makuha si theta. At, gagamitin ko yung ating calculator. So, r cosine, 5 over 8. At aking angle ay 51.3178. 51.3178. So, ito ngayon yung angle measure ng ating right triangle gamit ang ating calculator. Kasi, minsan may mga angles tayo na hindi makukuha na gamit ang unit circle. So, kinakailangan natin ng calculator para makuha natin yung value na kailangan natin. At ito yung pagkuha or pag-solve ng ilang mga problems 
sa right triangle trigonometry at kung may natutunan kayo dito sa video na ito please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you